the listener widget. As you can see, when I press on the screen, this register a press. Also, it register the cursor location. But when I release, it will also listen to the release of the screen. So let me show you how to create something like this with your Flutter app. First, we will need four variables, the number of presses, the number of release, the double X and the double Y. This is the location of the cursor. Next, we will create a listener widget. Inside, we will have the on pointer down. This is when we click on the screen and this will set state and add one to the number of press. Then we create the on pointer move. This one will set state and register the location of the cursor. The last one is on pointer up. And this one will set state and add one to the number of release. After this, you can create a child. We will use a container infinity infinity with the color orange. This is the background color. Inside the column, we will create the children, which the first one will be a text widget displaying the number of press. We will also add a textile and we will do the same thing for the number of release with the same textile. And finally, another text, but this one will be the cursor. And you can see that we have the location X dot to string and the location Y dot to string. We will also use a textile. And just like this, you have used the listener widget.